so issue with the shocks this is the Calvert Caltrax plate that mounts to the axle and this is the tab that is supposed to hold the shock well on a Pinto that ain't lining up it's not the right angle and the shock is fully extended right now and the springs are fully extended. Now when the car weight goes onto the car, it just barely pushes into this rubber bushing. So I need to extend the shock down and get a place to mount it on here that is at the proper angle. One eternity later. I bought some threaded rod from McMaster car and couplers and then ended up getting a bag of hundred of fine thread and three-eighths nuts and that's what we're doing with them for the shock absorbers so we're going to extend that out put all this stuff on the end with the threaded rod so we're going to try Finishing up the shock. So, uh, the plan is take this bracket that I had made up, attach it to here, like so, and actually it would go this way, small hole on that side large hole for the shock and that's going to be a challenge because I couldn't quite get the shock fully compressed to where I needed it and as you can see this is a larger hole here that should fit a shock and I'm going to see if I can use a lock washer to hold that spacing Looks like it should work out pretty good. Um, so, I have this coupler, a jam nut on the coupler, and then a nut for the mount. Would like to have another jam nut in there, but I don't think I have the room. So this would go on like this. Hold on. Gravity is not my friend. Alright, so that is up that. Now we got probably one inch, inch and a half to try and get this thing uh, up in there. Now this is the bolt I want to use. isn't gonna quite do it. How am I gonna do that? Uh, I'm not quite a he-man so I can't push that thing up by myself. Not at all. I'm gonna try to get the jack under here. 
This never usually works. jam between the wheel This is the problem, it likes to roll away. Let's see if I can jam washers under there, under the wheels. Kind of works. Black uh, washer. I feel like I'm going to lose a finger doing this. your home oh, come on <clears throat> this is probably not the best thing but I'm kind of cross threading it <laughs> into that hole because it's not lined up right I just want enough out Lock washer, a washer, and a nut on. Oh, I dropped the lock washer here somewhere. Got enough on there to let the jack down. bifocals all that kind of stuff so I'm gonna make sure that that lock washer is gonna go in the hole all right, where's the camera got that lock washer in there it's got to fit inside that hole I'm thinking it's cocked I Cocked over a little bit.
issue there. One, I can't see. Two, it's not going in the hole. Hammer. How does that look like? Maybe back a little bit. Hey, that's good. Sure turns hard. Why does it turn so hard? All right, so we got the new custom plate. It's 30 degree angle. It probably should have been more like 20, 25. We'll tighten down that rubber. And we're shooting for about half, halfway on the right height, but we're a little past that, I think. Can't really see up in there. That should be one and a half inches between that line and the end. I don't have a tape measure handy, but it's less than that. Um, so I wanted all this on here for adjustment, but I think I think I don't have enough. I mean, this this coupler is in the way <clears throat> to allow that to come down any. But, oh well, maybe we'll cut that off, maybe we won't. Let's get this tightened up. Alright, I like that. Let's get a damn nut. I am going to use a crusher, crescent wrench the wrong way. Ha! That draws the YouTube haters like you wouldn't believe. Okay. Now we got this stupid wire on here. No snips. down all the nuts are tightened up using a crescent wrench the wrong way gotta ask yourself but did you die I know gotta use some responsibility with that brain to know when enough is enough okay Shocks are done. Waiting on drive shaft U joints. Okay, 
rail track is not adjusted, not tightened. All right, party on, Wayne.